Hi gang, Trevor Beck here. Today I'm going to show you how to add a script to a Google spreadsheet so that it will send you the contents of a form directly to your email. So the first thing we need to do is take a look at the actual form that we create. This is the form and we need to go under choose response destination and make sure that we have a spreadsheet chosen as a destination. It'll create a new spreadsheet based on the same name and we'll say go ahead. Now let's take a look and we'll view the actual spreadsheet. Sometimes you like to keep up to speed on things and having that information emailed directly to you makes it a lot easier to do that. The notifications from Google won't do that. So what we have to do is add a new tool and the tool we're going to add is a script. Form email is just one of many scripts available to you, but this is the one that I've been using and I find a lot of success with. First thing we need to do is install it. As part of the installation process, we need to authorize that this app can indeed run within our Google account. The next step is to look through and see what exactly is it going to access of your account. Go through, make sure you're comfortable with it, and then hit accept. We now see that form email has been installed, so we're just going to close this window. Form emailer has now added a menu item to the top. Select that, and we still have to do some installation within the Google spreadsheet. Form Emailer then creates a second tab or a second sheet here with information on the, the Form Emailer script. One of the things you'll notice is it tells you whether or not it's running automatically. Now we can do that and it's very easy and the instructions are just down here at the bottom. Just go under Tools, go to Script Editor, go to Resources and select All Triggers. We're going to add a new trigger. We're going to do time driven. And again, we're going to select a time driven script based on minutes. And we're going to say every minute run this script. When that's done, just close this tab. Google will automatically save this. You might have to wait a short time, but eventually this will turn to yes. Now let's look at our form response sheet. Go under form emailer and let's look at our settings. Our settings basically refers to how the form and the information is submitted. So by default, the email that in the to field is your account, your personal email account, because it's assuming that you want the information sent directly to you. And by default, it also throws in this template here. We can actually replace information and we can make things a little bit different here. All you have to do is go in and add a piece of information. So in the to field, I'm also going to add the person's email address. So make sure I select the email address, hit insert placeholder, and there's the email address that was submitted. So when this form is activated, it will send to both myself as well as the email address that was sent in and all the contact information here. I can also add to the information. Once we have our message in, we just hit save and close. Now let's add a form in and see what happens. Here's our form responses where we can see the contents of the form that was submitted. We can also see that an email was sent under the form emailer status. So that means the person should have gotten a reply. Here's the email that Tiny Trev received. It's exactly what we put into our response. There's a lot of other functionality that you can add to your email forms. For more information, go to this address here.